We took 76 to I-95 and then searched for East Cumberland Street through what looked like a war zone. I assume we're walking in the right direction because there's graffiti everywhere. We knew we were headed in the right direction because the graffiti started as soon as we got out of the car. On rocks, cinder block, and even the gate leading to the pier. Lots of different stickers. Uh, you can tell that there's different representations here of different groups, different people. It's hard to define what is vandalism and what's art because there seems to be an anything goes attitude about the old industrial pier. Trash lines the pathway and you can't tell if the puddles are puddles of water or a combination of oil, spray paint and water. Walk a little further and you'll begin to see large cinder block walls. That's how you know you've arrived. Look to your right and you'll see the Delaware River and even a small portion of Camden, New Jersey. The old collapsing pier was once an industrialization coal stop. Now this is an example of fresh graffiti. You can actually smell the fumes still in the air. You can even sense the array of people who have hung out under the pier. Now this isn't where I would hang out, but it's clearly someone's hangout because there's some seats here. There's lots of rubbish. Lots. We tried counting the rows of graffiti, but we lost track at about 20. We guesstimate there are about 50 rows of graffiti that you can explore and check out. Notice too how much nature there is around this abandoned pier. Much of it is painted on, of course. Find the open spot of the pier and examine the large scale art and the view of Philadelphia. You're in the city, but you feel outside of it. There's graffiti of every kind, traditional names and brands, sophisticated artwork, political quotes, and some cartoons you might even recognize. Despite the shards of glass lining the entire pier and the vast amount of trash, Graffiti Pier is beautiful in its own distinct way. But don't take my word for it. Hop in your car, drive to a different part of Philadelphia, and look at some untraditional styles of art. Get lost in it.